What's up everyone welcome to Best Car Reviews, I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Lexus TX. Your Best Car Reviews are sure to be the most accurate and relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no waste of time. That's something that's intriguing to you and you like the content as you watch, please like and subscribe so I can continue to grow the channel. Let's get started. The new Lexus TX hits out with the old for the RXL and in with the new with this TX and let me tell you Acura it's going bold with the design and offering you some great features on the inside as well. I'm basically going to be calling this the cool Grand Highlander as it sits on the same platform. And if you're loving the design, then stay tuned because today we're going to go through all the trims. Key details available so far that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. All photos and information says video come direct from Lexus or from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. So here we go guys, we got a pretty detailed chart here for the TX, there's six different trims that will be available to you. The 350 will offer the base, premium and luxury, then you have the 500H F Sport Performance, and the 550H Pluses, premium and luxury. Now official pricing is not out, but the estimated range here is going to be from 50000 to about 75000 So across these six trims, you got $25,000 of difference. Hopefully there will be a TX that falls right at the price point you want and gives you what you want as well. Engine options, we've got three of them. You can get a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, 275 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque on those first three trims. If you opt for that F Sport Performance, you will get that same four cylinder, but you will add two electric motors to the setup giving you much more power, 362 horsepower, 409 pound-feet of torque, and if you go all the way up to those 550H pluses, you're going to get a 3.5 liter V6 plug-in hybrid setup with 406 horsepower, and Lexus is not yet uh, listed the torque numbers, but still, you can either uh, you know go from that next one back to up to 406 horsepower. That's a jump that you'll definitely notice. 40 horsepower. Transmissions, that first one will pair with a 10 speed. The hybrid setup will be a 6 speed and you'll get a CVT if you opt for that 3.5 liter. Drivetrain, front wheel drive will be standard on those first three trims, but you can option all wheel drive. All wheel drive will be standard for those, uh, the rest. MPGs, they're saying that 2.4 liter turbo will get you uh, 21 MPGs combined. If you go for the next one uh, with that hybrid setup, 24 combined. And if you go for the plug-in hybrid V6, estimated 30 MPGs combined. So not bad at all in the MPG department. All right, let's look now at the pictures released of this TX while we go through the main features. This TX, like I mentioned, will be replacing the RXL in the lineup. A unique design here from Lexus, Lexus and one I think is very well done. At certain angles, you can definitely see the strong similarities in the body shape between this and the Grand Highlander. And of course, that makes sense. As I mentioned, they share the same platform, and I also kind of alluded, I think it's interesting how even though these bodies are theoretically the same, they look so different. The Grand Highlander is pretty boring and lacks distinctive features, while this Lexus takes a while to visually dissect. There's a lot going on. Lexus calls their headlight LEDs dramatic, and I agree, they are very sharply designed. These pair with the signature blade LED taillights, as Lexus is calling them. And along with lights, the fog lights will also be a feature. This will show off the new Lexus spindle grille, and I think it's a very attractive feature on the front, and arguably what gives it the distinct look that it has. We're seeing a lot of manufacturers uh, trend towards these thin and angled headlight designs, so it really comes down to the grille and lower fascias to give vehicles their specific unique looks in the front. The F Sport Performance provides handling upgrades, 22 inch wheels, rear wheel steering and adaptive dampers. From what I've seen in these first images and videos released, the, I think Lexus did a B plus job on the wheel designs. I'm big on wheels. I call them the haircut of the car. They will make you look ugly or great no matter what your face looks like. And I think these designs are adequate enough, but for 50,000 higher, I really want a cool and unique wheel setup. But I do think from what I'm seeing, this fits the aura of the TX pretty well. Towing capacity is up to 5,000 pounds on this. Not much information is known on the batteries and the hybrid setups, but it's said they can power this TX along for 33 miles on their own. And these TXs are scheduled to go out for sale in late 2023, which isn't far on the horizon. Choosing a best bang for your buck without official pricing or more images of all these trims is a bit tricky, 
but off of what we know and first impressions, I would choose the 350 Luxury. Yes, it's 10,000 more than your first option, but it's appearing to at least give you the option of significantly more than the base, and that will be confirmed in a short time. Jumping up to the hybrid will get you significantly more power, but without knowing exactly what's standard, it's difficult to justify the price. Definitely stay tuned on that. Let's look now at the interior shots of this TX. We'll go through those main features. This TX brings you a modern and stylish interior, although nothing outrageously fancy like you may expect after seeing the exterior. This is a three row SUV with seating up to seven. Available heated and ventilated second row caps and chairs is an option, so that's great. The third row is apparently very accessible as Lexus has spent numerous hours designing a layout for easy accessibility and obviously more roomy than the RXL, which apparently was not that roomy. And along with all the seating room, it translates to nearly 97 cubic feet of storage with the second and third rows folded down. You get a standard 14 inch infotainment screen with the Lexus interface software, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and navigation is expected to be standard. This screen pairs with a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster for the driver, which is customizable to you, says Lexus. Available 21 speaker Mark Levinson Pure Play Surround Sound System. Most likely the standard setup will be 10 speakers like its brother, the GX. There's also an available heads up display, digital rear view mirror, panoramic sunroof, and leather upholstery. Each seat also has a standard USB-C port and expect a wireless charger in there as well. Every TX features Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0, which is an integrated suite of active safety equipment and convenience features. Overall, I like this interior. I think they could have gone a bit more bold with the design, but I think the screen sizes are spot on where they should be, and you get what you pay for when it comes to materials and comfort, although I always think you should get leather for 50k, even if it's the base trim. In review, guys, there's a lot of great things here from Lexus. If you're in the market for a three-row SUV and you're checking out this, you're thinking you might want to order one, you're also looking at the one I've mentioned several times in this video, the Grand Highlander. Maybe you're even looking at the new Traverse from Chevy, maybe a Honda Pilot, maybe a Kia Telluride. There's so many options out there for three-row SUVs. We know that this is like what powers America, right? The three-row SUV, stash all your kids in there, all their friends, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. There's tons of room. You can get 20 of them in there, even if there's only seven seats, right? I don't know about that, but at least this one offers heated and cooled seats for the second row. So all your little minions back there can be comfortable. But and as I'm saying, there's a lot of information here. There's a lot of options. So just take your time, do your due diligence to figure out which one you exactly want. I think this is a phenomenal option. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what's confirmed as standard on these trims as time moves forward here. Like I said, there's not a lot of time till these go available on the market for sale. So they got to finalize things here pretty quickly. And I'd say it's really going to come down to confirm prices and what you prefer for exterior styling and maybe interior standard features as well for your money. So hopefully this video will lay things out clear for you guys. Thanks for watching this best car review. Please subscribe if you're not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I have that option now. Check out those options and join if you'd like. And I'll catch you on the next best car review.